Hi everyone, welcome to the latest episode of Coding with Cooper. In this one, I'm going to show you how to get started with Hedera's Java Decentralized Identity SDK. Let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is head over to the Hedera Hashgraph GitHub and find the did SDK Java project. After that, we're going to download this to our local development environment through cloning the GitHub repository. And I'm going to resize my browser windows just so that we can have our terminal open nicely, as well as the GitHub project. All right. And the next thing that we're going to do is make a directory for this example. I'm just going to call mine did SDK example. And we're going to move into that directory and clone this GitHub project to our local machine. After that, you can see down in the readme of this GitHub project, we have some details about what's going on and some terminology that might be interesting to you. But we're just gonna keep going down to the examples and get started with this example application with Docker. So be sure that you have Docker available on your computer, whether you're running on Mac or Windows, and make sure that it's actually running. After that, the next thing that we're going to do is move into the project that we just downloaded and copy and paste the sample environment file into a new environment file. And I'm going to open this with them, and you can see that we have an operator ID, an operator private key, which network that we're connected to, and the mirror node provider. So I'm actually going to just copy and paste my account credentials here. And, you know, for this example, I think I'm going to actually run this on the Hedera mainnet. Uh, I like to live a little dangerously. But you can also use the testnet or the preview net, depending on what you're doing. And I'm going to test this out with Kabuto as our mirror node provider here. And so I'm going to save this environment file and go back out to my terminal. And just keep following along these readme instructions. So I did just configure my operator account ID and credentials, and the next step is going to be building this demo project with Docker. So docker build-t and the did demo. Be sure to add the period so it knows to build in the folder that you're currently in. And this is going to download all of the dependencies and kind of build the container that we're running on our local Docker instance. And this is going to take a, a little while, maybe a few minutes even, so be sure that you download everything else that's going to be required. This is a great opportunity to go check out Postman and make sure that you have that downloaded as well and that it's running properly. So I'm going to just set this aside because I know that I have it on my, my machine. And you can see that Docker is building you know, successfully all of the dependencies and containers required for this project. And it's actually getting everything that we need to run this example application and API server locally. Docker will tell you when it's, when it's finished running here. It'll just you know, kick you back out to your terminal instance. And then we can, for the next step, we're going to just be running this Docker application. almost there. Awesome, our build was successful and you can see that it's, you know, give us a little hash for which build this is in Docker and it's tagged this as the latest version of the did demo. And so the next thing that we're going to do is use Docker to actually run this locally. We're going to serve it on port 5050 and we're going to tag, you know, the did demo latest that Docker just built. Oh, it looks like I actually already have uh, Docker running on this port here. Uh, that's funny. So you can see that I've been doing this demo a lot recently. And what I'm going to do is actually just restart uh, my Docker deployment locally. Uh, just to be safe here, I might actually quit out of Docker entirely. 
and then use Spotlight just to uh, open it up briefly again, and that way I know that I have a fresh uh, Docker instance running locally. And you can see it's starting here. We're going to give that a few seconds. And once you see that the Docker icon has stopped its little startup process, we'll check it again and it looks like we should be able to run this locally. And there's a lot of things going on behind the scenes here. So it's starting up the server with Docker. It's actually configuring what we call an identity network or an identity application network. It's creating new files on Hedera with that account that we just talked about before that we set up in our environment file. And it's actually building all of these different topics that we're going to be using throughout this example. So we have a did topic that you can see the account ID for. Uh, please go check this on Kabuto or a mirror node API. And we actually also have a verifiable credential topic as well. So feel free to go check those out on the Hedera mainnet. And you can see that our terminal says that we're running locally. So I'm going to pull in Postman here and you know, delete any collections that we currently have and just open Finder so that we can see the project that we have cloned from GitHub. Within the examples folder and the AppNet API server, there should be a collection of Postman requests. So what you can do is actually go over to Import and it'll take almost any file type and we're just going to drag in the end-to-end Dara Decentralized Identity Postman tests. You can see that there's 24 requests that are making calls to this API we have running locally. Everything from generating a DID to verifying it, you know, issuing credentials, revoking those credentials, and you know, all the fun stuff you'd want to do with decentralized identity. And so I'm going to run this uh, collection. I'm going to make sure that my environment is set up to the Hedera main network. And I'm going to add a delay of maybe five seconds here, so that, that way be, between each of these 24 API calls, we're going to wait five seconds just to let Hedera reach consensus if it needs to. And you'll see these one by one go through, uh, and this is really all that it takes to make sure that you have this API and local demo running successfully. So you can see that we're generating a did for the issuer and we're creating a message, signing it by the issuer and submitting it to their document on our application network. You can see that we're getting that issuer's did back from our application network, which might take a little bit more than five seconds there. And you can see that as part of this demo, we're using a driver's license example. So we're actually issuing a driver's license and getting that back from our application network. And you can see this five second delay that we've kind of added to our Postman collection test here. And then we're resolving and making sure that this driver's license is actually currently valid. You know, this is another example for thir step 13 here where we revoked this potential driver's license. And we haven't ran into any issues yet, which means that all of our APIs and local demo applications is so far running correctly, but we still have a, you know five or so more API calls to test out this end-to-end -end integration. And I, I encourage you to actually go check out all of these API call requests on the Hedera network explorers, whether it's Kabuto or Dragonglass, you can see these calls when they're getting submitted to the Hedera network and actually see the contents that are being put onto the blockchain or Hedera's hashgraph in this case. All right, you can see that we have finished running our Postman collection. We only have two tests written into this so far, but the fact that nothing failed means that our entire end-to-end -end demo application was successful. 
If you're curious about the code base that we just ran and installed locally, please go check it out at our GitHub account at hashgraph backslash did SDK Java. You can learn more about the app nets, about the example applications that we have here in this API server. Uh, you know, this readme is pretty helpful and it talks about what a did and a verifiable credential are and how what we've built here maps to existing W3C standards. And if you want to see the code base that builds this demo application server, uh, you know, please go check it out. It's written in pretty standard Java with the Hedera Hashgraph did SDK. And so with that, congratulations on setting up the Hedera Java did SDK and running an entire end-to-end -end test suite with Postman. From there, if you have any questions, please join us at hedera.com backslash discord, where you can ask our engineering team and community any questions that you might have. And you can find other tutorials and demo applications at docs.hedera.com.